I think the problem with Botswana generally is that we are really not authentic and true to ourselves. Okay. We naturally want to copy what the next person is doing. Yeah. It's like we are after the results. We are not after the process. The process. Yes, so is. what is a slay queen? <sighs> are you one of them? No, no, are you, no, no. Are no. you a Instagram baddie? <laughs> no, I'm not. Because I put you on. could never share your husband. Def- <laughs> it's never. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you don't mind sharing, but not husband. Not husband. No. Yeah, hey. Absolutely. You will fight. <laughs> Never have I ever stood someone up on a date. Hmm? Never have I ever stood. <laughs> right. And I had my first client, I think it was 11,000 bucks. Whoa! I, yes, yes. And how long did you have to do it? Um, it was um, five bridesmaids and a bride. 11K. 11,000. That was my very, very first um, amount of good money. He's an amazing host, host and he's going to have many more amazing people on his show. And I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey. And you know, we never know how big this is going to get. So yeah. let's just see where you take this. Take this juice to an O, 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 O. All right. Kale, he took a mole. He took a mole, he took a mole. Yeah. All right, Gap to the B Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. What's going on? And welcome to the Juice 2.0, your favorite show. Now, on the count of three, juicy. One, two, three. Juicy, thank you very much for stopping by. You're amazing. I appreciate you so much. Let's get to your comments, okay? All right. Starting off with Tab Ill on the Katlejo, Rampaleng, and Freddy Pro video that we dropped last week. Freddy, uh, I have a sunflower Genevieve. That's a beautiful name, by the way. Freddy speaking over Katlejo is too much, okay? And then sunflower Genevieve on the... Lady of Soul video, TK Batong, TK, Diputo Tahaho. <laughs> well, this has been your best interview by far. Lady of Soul is a special soul sham. I love, love her. Appreciate you so much. And then we have a Kamuhelo Noy who says she is so beautiful, also on the same video. Check out other videos we have on the Palesa Malefa video, which is currently sitting in how many views? I don't know. You tell me. You go check it out for me. Okay, please do that. And uh, I have a Matlit Siso. Who says 40.41 to 40.43? Umpla, umpla hela ari, umpla hela ari, ha? Ay, this too though. <laughs> I remember that part though. I remember that part. I think that's the part where I was asking her. Actually, I was telling her like, your lips though. Your lips, guys. Palesa malefe. Lips. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see. Tina Wigget video. We have a Richard. What's going on, Richard? Richard simply says, Umutsopong Tina. That's right. The video that we did with Mzanzi's greatest family, I have an arena who says, My father, I agree. Authenticity. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to put a hand What's happening with my English together? Let me take it slow. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> you laughing at me? <laughs> Hang on. Jess. <laughs> <laughs> the bundles. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to help me welcome by putting your hands together and a rousing round of applause, Jessica Malefe. There we go. Good morning. Hi. Hi again. How you doing? I am nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Why are you nervous though? Your question something <laughs> drastically amazing, shocking. Yeah. I'm just here wondering what's going to happen. Oh yeah. yeah. So lately, I think I've I've gotten a I've gotten a what do they call it? Well, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. But it's nothing to be fearful of. Okay. I'll you try know? to be calm as much as possible. You look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Super I get beautiful. That a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the time. Damn time. How do you take it though? Does um, it get to your head? Or no, is... no. I've never let it get to my head, honestly. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, and you smell really nice. Like super, super nice. Yo! Nice. Jesus. Yeah. I thought I smelled nice. And then you for stepping out. Oh, yeah. Well, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you so much for honoring our invite. Thank you very much. You are Jessica Malefi. Definitely. We see you on our Instagrams. We see you on our YouTubes. Yes. We see you on our Facebooks. We yep. see you on Twitter. You, you're everywhere. 
Well, not on Twitter though. Not on Twitter. Yeah. You're everywhere. Yes. And you are, first of all, a content creator. Mm -hmm. But you're so much more than that because what you create is content based off of what you do in life. Yes, yes. Which is makeup. Definitely. Tell us about that. But before that, who is Jessica Molefe? For real, for real. For real, for Like real. if you had to meet a, first, a, a person for the first time, how would you, how would you uh, introduce yourself? First of all, Jessica Molefe is um, a 30... Am I 31 or 32? What's going on? Oh, dude, you're young. Yeah, I, I am. 30. Young. 30. Okay. 31. 32. I'm, I'm going 32 this year. Oh, dope. I'm 32 years old. Uh-huh. Uh, married. It's been eight years. Wow! Yes. Eight years? Eight years. Okay. I have a beautiful six-year-old daughter. And um, I come from a very beautiful village called Madinari. Awesome. Um, I think... Kimokalak. But it's a bit complicated. <laughs> How is it complicated? Uh, I don't know. There's this thing that um, we take after our father's nation, um, nationality, right? Of course, yeah. So my dad is Kalanga. Mm -hmm. And uh, since he passed on, we spent most of our times with our mom. Ah. So naturally, when people would ask, where do you come from? It's like... You've taken your mom's... My, my mom's side, yeah. Right, right. So I think I'm... Let me say I'm Kalanga. I'm Kalanga. You are Kalanga, yeah. yeah. But I spend most of my... Um, youthful days um, in Madinari. Ah, yes, beautiful. So, yeah. Can beautiful. you speak Kalanga? Not at all. You can't? No. Shut. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. But so, I can understand a few words, but... Here yeah. and there. Yeah. Okay. So the makeup gig, yes. when did it start? Honestly, because... And I have follow-up questions, a lot of follow-up questions about makeup. But yes. when, when did the idea spark in your mind that you were to do makeup and you were going to do makeup and then it became what it became? Firstly, I have been doing art since I was young, from uh -huh. standard one up until from five. Wow. So when I got to UB, my mom was like, you need to look for something serious. We yeah. cannot, I mean, go on with this whole art thing. Art does not have money and all those things, which, which was quite true at that time. Yeah. Um, I left art and then I focused on something else, which was um, a degree, a double major in um, English and environmental science. Right, right. But I found my way back to art again, where I kind of like find, found passion in doing my own makeup. Mm. And it all started when people were fascinated by the level at which I would do my eyebrows. I was just using a pen. By oh. Pen. Yes. So I don't know. I just felt I didn't have money to buy the right kind of eyebrow <laughs> pencil. Then. At that time, right, yeah, right, so right. I used a pen and they were quite shocked. How do you use a pen to mimic um, eye eyebrows? Yeah. So that's when it really, really started. And then when I got married 2015, yeah. uh, someone stood me up. I had invited someone over to do my makeup. And right. then I was like, you know what? I think I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. So I took my mom's makeup and did my bridal makeup look. So this other friend of mine was like, Jess, your makeup was pretty decent for somebody who doesn't know much about makeup. Mm -hmm. don't, you think of, um, don't you think of trying to do it as a business? And I was like, no, nah, I'm pretty much comfortable with my 6,000 bucks because I was working then. Yeah. So I kind of like put the, uh, the thought into consideration and then I was kind of like enjoying my 200 bullet, 300 bullet. <laughs> and I was like, maybe I should try this thing. Yeah. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, I got fired. The reason why I get unfortunately is because I, I, I kind of like low-key wanted to leave the job. Uh -huh. But my husband was on my case that no, maybe you're chickening out. Just give it a uh, uh, try. Try yeah. to relax. Maybe you're just thinking ahead of yourself. Right. So I was indeed fired where I was working at, and I was like, "That's it. I'm doing this full time." Mm. So I was um, at loggerheads with my husband whether right. to do this full time. Yeah. And it was a case. Yeah, this is this cannot be a career. What are you talking about? Yeah, the makeup thing. Yeah, the makeup thing. Right, so right. I remember very well. One time I was asking him to find a place to rent for my studio. Yeah. I will get a volume my TV. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> Absolutely. So it, it kind of like broke my heart, <laughs> but it, it, it gave me the, the zeal and the energy to say, you know what? I'm going to prove you wrong. Ah, much as I love you and right, my right. husband, I'm going to prove you wrong. You're going to do it, right. And right. I had my first client, I think it was 11,000 bucks. Whoa! I, yes, yes. And how long did you have to do it? Um, it was um, five bridesmaids and a bride. 11K. 11,000. That was my very, very first um, amount of good money. Yeah. So I gave it a try. We drove all the way to Tutume, Bukalaka. Right, right, right. I, I did an exceptionally good job. Yeah. And I was like, I kind of like, like this money now. 
So that's when we were we became now fully invested in this whole makeup thing and built Beautiful. a studio, registered the company and yeah. everything until today. Beautiful. Yes. And you you can share with us so many stories, beautiful stories, yes. a lot of money. Obviously, after the 11,000, yes. so much more money came Absolutely. along the journey. Yes. But tell me about makeup and B-dub, man. Why is everybody doing it? Um, I think the problem with Botswana generally is that we are really not authentic and true to ourselves. Okay. We naturally want to copy what the next person is doing. Yeah. It's like we are after the results. We are not after the process. The process. Yes, that's yeah. just the problem. So because you, you you know everybody's doing it. Right? I know. Yeah. I, I know who are doing it well. Shucks. I know who are not doing it well. Yeah. Some have even come to my office for um, tutorials to get into business with this whole makeup thing. Yeah. But it's unfortunate that from the First interaction with someone, I know that this one is going to make it, this one is not going to make it. <laughs> so, um, it's, uh, we, we are just into this copy and paste uh, yeah. syndrome and it's bad. Who is, a, who is really like at the top of the list for you? Uh, I need three names really that you feel possibly could be competition to you, but you feel in, in your experience they're the best in B-Dub right now. I wouldn't really call them competition, okay. but they complement me in the industry. In the sense that smart, I, I yeah. see that. I see that. Yeah, yeah. they complement. We are different. Right. Everyone has got their own signature thing going on. Um, um, the way I apply makeup, it's not the same as the other. Yeah. So from the top of my head, I have uh, obviously Maxine. Uh huh. And then there's um, the Guru. There's uh, Jose Hokatai. Oh, nice. So those are those the, three are those are the three. But I come uh, before them in the list. I'm the first. You know, I was just <laughs> courtesy, but uh, you know. So I'm first in the list. So I like that. I don't care whether they come last. It's none of my business. So, yeah. I like that. It's 837. You're on the Juice 2.0. We're catching up with Jessica Malefe in the building. Yes. Makeup artist, YouTuber, and a lovely wife to a lovely husband. The content is great on YouTube. I was taking out your smack or fake. Oh, yes. Uh, smack or facts. Yes, smack or facts. Why did you go so hard on the brother? What, what, what was What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Men forget. So what? you take advantage of that. <laughs> What's the one thing that your husband forgot that really kind of touched you that he forgot about? Was it the course that I was doing at school? I think so. Yeah. You yeah. forgot the course. I think, you know, this is the thing about me and my husband. Yeah. Like, even now, if you get to ask me what he does, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I get so lost every time they ask me, where does he work? Which department? I'm oh, like, yeah. some, some, somewhere, somewhere there. Somewhere there. Somewhere there. Oh, we're, we're, we, we love one another, but it's just that I get part that. of our lives. I get that. Yeah. We get back with more conversation and chat up with Jessica Malefe in the building. Keep it logged. Still on the Juice 2.0, 841 is your time. You and I are chilling with Jessica Malefe, who is Jessica at Jessica Malefe underscore on Instagram. Let me take that one more time. At Jessica Malefe underscore on Instagram. You, you go check her out, man. It's great content, makeup, tutorials. Tell me about tutorials. Yes. Why was it important for you to get on our YouTubes and uh, start giving us tutorials about makeup? Why was it important? Well, it started off lockdown. Ah, of course. Yes. Yeah. I, I was kind of um, concerned that maybe my, my name might be forgotten. <laughs> the lockdown. Yeah. So I was, it, it was just my strategy trying to keep myself afloat and of relevant. Of course, yeah. So I don't mind sharing because yeah. I believe when you share, you become a master of whatever you share. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, in essence, that's just why I get to share my skills. You could never share your husband. Definitely. <laughs> it's never. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you don't mind sharing, but not husband. Not husband. No. Yeah, hey. Absolutely. You will fight. Hey la. But it's a sick beat. Have you actually ever had to beat up somebody or threaten someone or DM someone like, yo, stay away from my husband? Not at all. Yeah? Not at all. Oh, you've lived a good life. Not at all. I you've... like I I I don't have that time and energy. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I like that. Jessica. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. Never. Never? Yeah? I'm afraid of pain and needles. Oh, yeah. You can't do that. No. Nah. Never have I ever been stood... Rather, never have I ever stood someone up on a date. Mm-hmm. Never have I ever stood, <laughs> stood someone up on a date. I have. You have? Mm-hmm. What happened? I got bored. Shucks. Yeah. That's you? You're terrible. <laughs> you're, you're very terrible. <laughs> I got ne- bored. I got bored. Yeah. yeah. It happens though. It, it does. Right? 
chemistry nya na khantile nya like never have i ever peed in the shower that's standard procedure what are you talking about yeah it really is though right you guys you too yeah like Mal- malika is like yeah who doesn't do that everybody does that yeah? exactly you two times huh Man, you lie. He's, missing, Stop. Out. <laughs> he's, he's lying. missing out. It's fine. He's, he's missing out. Yeah. It's so free. It's so warm. It's like it's so. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you said it's so warm. It actually is very warm. It is warm, warmer than the water itself. Warmer than the water itself. Yeah. It's like oh, it's refreshing. It's refreshing. That's fresh. therapy, dude. That's the- <laughs> missing out. Jessica, what do you love the most about your husband? I love the fact that my husband is overly loving. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. I, I've always wanted to get married to somebody who loves me more than I love them. Not that I don't love him. It's good. Apparently it's good. It is. Yeah, it's healthy. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's healthy. Because I've been in situations where I was the one who loved more and I was like, nah, this equation is not working it's out not, right. Yeah, it's not make no, sure. It doesn't. Yeah. So I love the fact that he's overly loving, overprotective Dope. and overly supportive. I love like, that. Like that guy's the brains of Jesse's makeup to be honest with you. I love that. Yeah. So and then what did he do for you, Valentine's or what did you do for him, Valentine? What did you guys get up to? <sighs> Valentine's was a little flop for me. Okay. I stay in joining by the way and oh. uh, yeah, I don't stay. Did you one. did you come No, I, oh, I only okay. come over here um on Thursdays. Ah, and then go back after work. Okay, okay. Yes. So I wanted to plan a little um dinner for two type of vibe and joining is just so boring. Oh yeah. Things didn't add up. And then February just felt like January, I don't know. <laughs> it it kind of did. Yeah, yes. Low key. Low key. So I was like, ah, he's my husband, he knows I love him so. Oh yeah. What it's do you that. what do you think if I had to ask him mm-hmm. what he loves about you? What he, what he, what would you say? I think the what? one thing that he always kind of like talks about yeah. is the fact that I'm independent. Ah. But in a setup where I'm not supposed to be independent. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mar- marriage can be tricky. Uh mm-hmm. much as there's community of property and all those things. Yeah. There's a level of individualism but you need to approach it with a sense of maturity. Ah. So it it, right. it, it takes it takes a level of maturity to for somebody to understand this individualism in marriage. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's the one thing that really stands out um for him when it comes when to it comes to you. Yes. What do you do? look I, I your story is very beautiful by the way. Thank you. Uh, you guys met when you were super young. Very young. And you got married super young. I was so young. You're 20, 20, 23. Yes. And he was 27. Yes. Was there any concern by or from your people that you were getting married super young you haven't had enough fun you haven't you know you know what they say right I know I know yeah. I know Was that happening in your life at that point Not really I come from a family where it's natural to get married young Ah yeah so my, the only concern with my mom was are you really sure are you ready Yeah So I felt ready at that time Uh-huh So it it was kind of like Well, let's see where this leads. Where this goes, it yeah. feels nice. It looks nice. It's promising. Yeah. And then when I got to the reality of marriage, I got to realize it is beautiful. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. So, so uh huh. Sorry, continue. So it's okay. So it wasn't really a um, a concern from my family. So no regrets along the way, because I, I know a lot of people. You know what? They do things and then a few things. Many things in life, really. Yeah. You could relate that. You'd start something. It feels great. Yes. And then somewhere down the line you're like, "Hmm, um, did that ever happen to you or him?" I wouldn't really say it's uh, regrets, but yeah. lessons. If ah, there's if yeah, there's one yeah. one thing I would uh, encourage anyone who wants to get married young, yeah. I would encourage them to finish school first of all, right, right. foremost. Um if possible, get a job, have a little bit of furniture. If possible, get a mortgage and buy yourself a house right, you know right, such right. kind of things right. because you'd get into marriage and then you realize that I should have done those things when I was young uh, and then it it can become a bit of um a challenge when yeah. you meet somebody who doesn't understand such kind of things especially right. when it concerns the issue of discovering your purpose especially that yes, especially so, that yeah also let's talk about your taste of music <laughs> very 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 different Extremely yes. different. <laughs> I know. You're I into know. Congolese music. Yes. Where did that 
love for that kind of music come from and i've seen you dance yes i do dance as well i do dance as well um uh, congolese music is kind of like of sentimental value to me okay my dad was the one who really influenced us to kind of like like the music ah. so in him passing i think that was the only part of him that was left with me growing up oh yeah yeah and then it changed from that and it became something i was passionate about Nice. Yes. So, so it's a way of remembering your dad. It was, it was. when it started, yeah. but now I don't know. Congolese music just strikes a chord in me. And you dance so well. 8:49 yes. is your time. Jessica Molefe in the building. Let's secure some coin and we play one track that I'm hoping that she can, you know, really vibe to because that's her taste really. Hmm? On February Engage Road, Awilo Longomba with a track titled Rosalina. 8.53 is your time. So what? Are you saying that everybody grew up to this music? Everyone. <laughs> your Slay Queens, the dudes, everyone, literally. So what is a Slay Queen? <sighs> are you one of them? No, no, are no, you, no. Are no. you an Instagram baddie? <laughs> no, I'm not. Because I put out your flyer and everybody's like, yo, 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 TK, you're getting every baddie in B-Dub. No, I'm not. You're I'm not, not a baddie? No, I'm not a baddie. What is a baddie? A baddie is a word coined mm -hmm. by the Gen Z uh -huh. to mean somebody who's badass uh -huh. where it concerns the looks. Where it concerns the looks. Yes. Right. But I don't like the word baddie uh -huh. because I don't know, maybe it's just my mind. With me, it comes with, um, with a sense of... You're going to South Africa. I don't care, Nana. You're careless about your life. You're just ah. focusing on that. But there's more to life about being beautiful than being the baddie baddie. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't like the connotation of And there's there's a lot of notions that fly around when it comes to being exactly. a baddie. Exactly, and know? a slay queen as well. And a slay Maybe queen. Maybe baddie is the word after slay after queen. After slay queen. Yes, yeah. And and the, the notion that I hear most of the time is that a slay queen is someone who's making money from people's money. You cannot say slay queen and not say Nigeria. <laughs> You cannot. Those two words. Is that right? Absolutely. So I, I really don't like being identified as a slave queen. I'm not one. What's the one thing that people think that you are, but you're not? I think they think I'm not educated. Oh. Yeah. You think they think that? Yes. Why do they, do you think they think that? Because they, it's because of this whole slave queen thing also. Ah, it yeah. comes up with the sense that Hawa Heza Skolo and then you find found a quick way to quickly to, do yeah, makeup, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, that type yeah. of vibe. Oh, yeah. And also, so, makeup is really attached to that, right? Exactly. Somebody just funded you and then you're trying to, okay, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get so, that. It's, it's it's when I get to communicate with some, they get to realize, oh, we learn a little degree. Education. Course. Yes, I have a degree. <laughs> yeah. And some Ibile, they also assume if you're a slave queen, you're yeah. probably going to get married after 20 years. I don't, ah. I don't know where they get that. Yeah, it's like... So I agree, it's, it has this thing of careless. It's like you're careless about life. Yeah, 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 yeah. So many misconceptions about people. Is there a rumor that is going around about you that was really just a rumor and there was no truth to it? Well, the fact that I was not a Mutswana. People thought that, you were not a Mutswana? That one, I mean, it, it went for the longest. Are you serious? I'm telling you the truth. Well, they thought you were from where? Some of them said uh, I was from Congo, some Nigeria, some Zambia. <laughs> it's when I started a lockdown, making all these uh, tutorials, uh, live videos, actually, yes, where yes. and some would say, oh, umutwana, umutwana, umutwana. And I, I kind of like liked the uh, the misconception or miscommunication there right. because it really helped me settle in, in the industry. Oh, yeah. if there's one thing I've realized about Batswana, Batswana, if you are a foreigner, look, they'll treat you well. But if you're Mutwana, if you're Mutwana, the first one to ask, who are you married to? Where do you come from? What do you eat? <laughs> what do you wear? Where do, all of those things. That, what? I'm telling you, they are concerned with just the wrong things. So, do you think you have struggled a little bit about uh, with you with your makeup business because of those things at some point? No, I was camouflaged. Oh uh, yeah, I was camouflaged. Dude, uh, tell me, tell, tell me about. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, tell, it's okay. tell me, we, we're running out of time. Sadly, you know what? We really need two hours with our guest. <laughs> But tell me about Forbes because this is such a very, very important, you know, yes. uh, topic to speak on. Yeah. Forbes 30 under 30. You were there. I was there. What were you doing there? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it was absolutely nothing. <laughs> absolutely I wasn't nothing. expecting that kind of answer. But <laughs> Honestly, the thing with Forbes, it was it was a good opportunity um, yeah. thanks to Minister of Youth. Yeah. But I kind of like felt left out because the things that they were talking about, they did not really include the 
upcoming makeup artist, uh-huh. creative industry, and all of those things. Right. And we were there with uh, Mihlali. Yes. She was just there. Mm. She was just there. I was expecting her to talk on how she really made it to become the influencer. What is it about working with deals yeah. and stuff like that? Yeah. And that's just the sad thing about being an influencer and a content creator. We're right. just really wasting our time right. hoping that somebody would spot us and really get to use our talents. Mm. That's just the problem with our country. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I was just there. Well, we made friends, interactions and stuff like Connections that. Connections here and there. Yeah, but honestly, I was just there. Sharks, man. Yeah. But nothing to regret. No, I don't regret this. Isn't anything. I don't, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. So also, you know, is Mikali someone that you look up to? He, well, she is one of the people I, I look up to. She yeah. is. She is. Yes. And then, apart from Mikali, the influencers in South Africa, anyone else? Um, there's a, a well, a new favorite of mine. Uh, I don't know her name, but she runs a studio called uh, called uh, Bizlam. Okay. Yes. South African, yeah. Yes, she's no, she's not South African. She lives in South Africa, but she's Nigerian, I think. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Great. One celebrity that you would totally, totally have to possibly think about your marriage. Who would it be? Think about your marriage. It's like, ah, you know what? I might compromise my marriage. Um, this one. Also, you guys possibly have this in your <laughs> in your relationship, right? It's like because I had that with my woman. Okay. Right. She she's into Michael B. Jordan. It's like, you know, there's a reason why Lori Harvey left. <laughs> you know, whatever. You know? Yeah. And I have I have mine. I'm I'm your Kelly Rowland. I might compromise my relationship with with Kelly Rowland. That's yeah. And a lot of other, you know. So, you know. You know so the question is very dangerous. So who is it? <laughs> who is it for you? Drop it. Um, something Evans. Something Evans. I don't. I forgot his first name. The uh, Captain America guy. Chris. Chris Evans. Ah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm long, old crush. Um, over husband, now. husband, my brother. Uh look, Chris. I'm gonna call Chris. Well, he's far away. I, I'm connected, Jess. I'm gonna call Chris. Nah, it's the it's, daydream. It's, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you like him, vanilla, vanilla, huh? No. Okay, but it's just okay. I think I think it's because I just liked how small he was, and then he became this such a huge. Hero. Yeah. I think I I'd resonated with that in some I sense, like and that. I was like, kind of like like that guy. Oh yeah. You know, for that. Yes. Before I let you go, you got something happening on the twenty sixth of March. What is it? It's actually sorry, the fourteenth of March. Fourteenth of March. What's yes, going on? Um, it's a masterclass for aspiring makeup artists. So if you feel like you want to upgrade your game, get into this makeup thing yeah. as a business, yeah, come through. And let me teach you. I like that. Yes. We didn't have enough time to talk about everything that we need to talk about, but I hope that you stop by my podcast, you and Hasbe. Definitely. Yeah. That'll be good. That'll be a great conversation. I don't actually. mind. We're waiting for part two. One time. <laughs> part two with Jessica Malefe at Jessica Malefe underscore on Instagram. Everywhere else, where can they find you? Um, Facebook, Jessica Malefe. YouTube, Jessica Malefe. TikTok, Jessica Malefe underscore. It's just either Jessica Malefe or Jessica Malefe underscore. Just I that. like that. Yeah. Appreciate you, sis. Thank you for stopping by. Video great. drops on Tuesday. I hope you get excited for that. Most definitely. One time. That's the conversation. It's a wrap. At 9, the news is coming out. But let me secure a quick bag and then on SBL we'll take care of you. All right. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.